I'm using my Ubuntu 19.10 installation here, as you can tell from the lock screen, because this guide will work exclusively to Ubuntu only. You see? Why to waste video time, when I can bullshitting since the first second? Okay, I admit, I don't use Kiri very much. In fact, I don't use Kiri at all, but I do check on the repository periodically waiting for the port to Librem 5. So, there is the first unstable Geary release towards 3.36, and that may isn't Librem 5 compatible yet, but it has some nice additions. The first thing, is a new plugin system with libps. I guess this is mostly to make the code more modular, rather getting like community plugins, but anyway, point is that Geary has very very active development, which leads us to the feature I'm mostly interested at. And that's the availability of development versions from GNOME Nightly. So, if you use Geary, it is a good idea to get the daily development versions, and have early access to latest features and improvements, plus you can open some issues. Just add this Flatpak repository, and then install Geary from Nightly. You need the second option, GNOME Nightly and install on system. By the way the app is suffixed with .dev, which is like a Flatpak initiative, and makes easier to have multiple versions installed at the same time. For example, both development and stable Geary releases. The downloading is a bit slow because of the high traffic, after people watch this video, that I haven't published yet, but that's the reason whatsoever. And after the installation was magically got completed, you can now open Geary. That it will magically open to your Yahoo Mail, without configuring anything. And now you have the latest, and scariest Geary alive. When you install Flatpak apps that handle background data, like mail clients, one thing you may want to do, is to open settings, and go to applications view and check their storage. This is a very convenient panel to inspect our apps, and there is some planning to add a few more things there. Basically the design is very similar to Android. Anyway, enough Ubuntu for this year. Let me switch my Linux. Oh mm -hmm.